Dear viewers, welcome to my channel Laboratory Medicine with Zafar. I'm going to start <coughs> a video series on SCP crash course. Before moving on, let me introduce myself. This is me, Muhammad Zafar. I have done my bachelor's honor degree in medical laboratory technology, my MPhil degree in microbiology. I'm an international medical laboratory scientist certified by the American Society for Clinical Pathology. The contents of the today video tutorial will include introduction to SCP, exam categories, what is the exam type for the SCPI certification, what is the minimum passing score required in order to pass the examination, what are the different exam routes, examination contents, benefits of being MLS SCPI certification and how to maintain the SCP certification. Basically, the ASCP stands for the American Society for Clinical Pathology is a professional association organization based in Chicago, United States of America. Founded back in 1922, the ASCP provides programs in education, certification, and education on behalf of patients, pathologists, and laboratory professionals. The American Society for Clinical Pathology offers different types of certification which include technicians, technologists, scientists, specialists, diplomats, and many more. In the category of the certificate for the technician, ASCP offers the International Medical Laboratory Technician, International Hasto Technician, International Pelbotomy Technicians. In the categories of the technologists and scientists, ASCP offers the following certification for the technologists and scientists. International Medical Laboratory Scientist, International Technologist in Blood Banking, Technologist in Chemistry, International Technologist in Cytogenetics, and Cytologist. But here, in this video crash course series, we will only focus on the International Medical Laboratory Scientist certification. But if you want to be certified in the category of the technologist, please watch only the relevant section from these videos like for the blood bank you can just only want uh, you can only watch the blood bank uh, section for the chemistry you just have to finish the chemistry section in the categories of the specialist ascp uh, offer the following certification in the international specialist categories such as specialist in blood banking specialist in chemistry specialist in cytology hematology microbiology and many more let's now talk about the exam type CAT. CAT stands for the computerized adaptive testing is a computer-based exam that uses special algorithms to tailor the test question's difficulty to each individual test taker. Unlike computer fax tests, where every MCQ carry equal marks, a computer adaptive test means the exam adapts in real time to the test taker's ability level and provide test questions accordingly. What does it mean? It means the that each question scary uh, different marks depends on the difficulty level of the questions tough questions scary high marks and easy question carry low marks all scpi certification examination is composed of 100 multiple choice questions given in a 2 hour and 30 minutes 150 minutes time frame all exam questions are multiple choice four options a b c d with one best answer to pass the examination scp exam are scored from 0 to 999 with 400 generally being a passing score in order to pass the exam 400 marks are required you will get an unofficial pass fail result at the testing center on computer screen once you have finished your exam your official score report will be available to you within four business days by signing in to your SCP account using the SCP website. So what are the different routes in order to apply for the CPI certification examination? Be informed that these routes which, uh, which is now I am discussing are only for the MLS certification. For the route 1, a bachelor degree in medical laboratory sciences is required and a training and uh, a successful uh, training uh, completion program is required the training must include blood banking chemistry hematology and microbiology for the route two a bachelor degree is required and three years of acceptable clinical experience but the experience must cover all four sections of the leg uh, of the laboratory like blood banking chemistry hematology and microbiology 
For the rotary, a bachelor degree is required and a two year of medical laboratory sciences program and a, a, a training program is also required. For the rule 4, a bachelor degree in biological sciences or chemistry and five year of the acceptable experience. For the rule 5, a bachelor degree and a two year diploma in biological sciences or chemistry and five years uh, of uh, clinical experience in blood banking, chemistry, hematology and microbiology. Let's now discuss about the examination contents. The MLS exam question encompasses different contents area within the medical laboratory sciences including blood banking, urine analysis and other body fluids, chemistry, hematology, immunology, microbiology and laboratory operations. Each of these contents area comprise a specific percentage of the overall 100 question exam. The content area and percentage are described below. So from this table we can learn that uh, we will have about 17 to 22 questions from the blood banking uh, which will uh, basically comes from the blood products, blood grouping system, blood group immunology, physiology and pathophysiology, serologic and molecular testing, transfusion practice. From the section of the urine analysis and other body fluids, we will face about 5 to 10 questions which will usually come from the physical and chemical testing, microscopic analysis, physiology, disease stats. From the chemistry se section, we will al uh, also have to face about 17 to 22 questions and they will probably come from the carbohydrate, uh, carbohydrates, lipids, hemd ratios, enzyme, protein and other nitrogen containing compound, acid base determination including blood gases, electrolytes, endocrinology, vitamin and nutrition, therapeutic drug monitoring and toxicology. From the hematology, we will also have to face about 17 to 22 questions and they will probably come from the physiology, disease states, laboratory testing, hemostasis including physiology, disease states and laboratory determinations. From the immunology section, from the immunology section, we will have to face about 5 to 10 percent of questions which will usually come from the principle of immunology, disease of the immune system, transplantation, infection, disease, serology, serologic procedure and test result. From the microbiology, we will have to face about 17 to 22 questions which will usually come from the pre-analytical procedures, analytic procedure for bacteriology, analytic procedures for microbacteriology, virology, parasitology and, micro, uh, and mycology and post-analytic procedures. From the section of the laboratory operation, we will have to face about 5 to 10 percent questions and which will include quality assessment, troubleshooting, safety, laboratory mathematics, manual and automated methodologies and instrumentation, basic management principles, education principle and etc. So what are the benefits of being MLS ACPI certification? Uh, you can find many job opportunities abroad, especially in the United States of America. It is much better for the professional growth. If you pass the MLS CPI certification, you will be exempted from the United Arab Emirates examination for the technologist and many more. So how to maintain the CPI certification after passing? In order to maintain your credential, a person will require about 36 continuous medical education certificates every three years in order to maintain the ACP certifications.